how you guys doing in today's video we're going to be reviewing the rg ally we're going to be going over the design we're going to be showcasing the ui and at the end of this video i'm going to give you guys my final impression on what i think about this device so if that's something you guys were interested in make sure you hit the like button subscribe to the channel let's get right into this review so to get started let's talk about the design and i have to say i really enjoyed the design again you have your analog stick here i love the light that goes under the analog stick you can customize these lights to make it fit your gaming needs i think that's awesome the d-pad a lot of people have complained about it but i actually quite like it i was playing street fighter on it and i was able to do my moves so there's no complaints there you have your x a y b buttons here they do feel pretty good i know another issue that people had with this is that they were sticking i'm not having that issue yet you have your select button here start button here you have your ammo crate button here and your game mode if you want to call it there taking a look at the top you have your paw button which also has a fingerprint scan on here you have your volume rocker here you have your micro sd card headphone and USB also you can use this to plug in your XG mobile which I'll be doing a review here on soon. Trigger buttons feel really good. I like it a lot. And then the L1 R1 button feels good as well. At the back you have this awesome looking design here. I think this is pretty sleek and sexy. Something you guys might not know there is a number right there and I don't know if this is like the number of the units sold but I think that'll be pretty cool if you can just look here. Let me zoom in on this. If you can look here and actually see the number of your unit, let me know what numbers you guys do have. And I think that's a pretty cool fish. But then you have your custom M1, M2 button here that you can customize. And then you have the vent for the fan. Again, this is a pretty sleek device. I love the way this look. I think Asus knocked it out of the park with the design. It's very lightweight. You can carry this very portable as well. The weight is very good for handheld gaming. So this is running Windows and with Windows you do get uh, Asus Emery Crate on top of Windows and this is what that looks like. So by the click of this button you do get Emery Crate here. So with this you can have your real time monitor here which gives you access to showcase what's going on in your device when you're gaming. You can check out your FPS and stuff like that. By this, you can just go back to Windows whenever you want to. So if you in the game, just push that, you go back to Windows. You have your refresh rate here. You have your resolution here. And then you have your operating mode here. And I think the operating mode is awesome. Again, when plugged in, you can get 30 watts. But when it's not plugged in, you get 25 watts. There's different options here that you can choose from, from performance to turbo and silent. Silent is good for if you're trying to play like indie games so cloud gaming but if you want to take advantage of performance with this device to run AAA games at good refresh rate you probably want to do turbo mode here but just know that it does kill your battery so if you push this button here you do get the game library and with the game library it pretty much showcases the latest games that you've been playing so here you can just come and again see the latest game that you're playing and jump right back into it or open the latest launches so it's pretty cool again if you want to add a different launcher like for instance playstation plus wasn't here to begin with you can just come here you can go to add and scroll down and see your latest launches and add it on here so you can go to settings as well and in settings you can just add more stuff to show up in Amory crate here so again, you have stuff like record screen, take shots and microphones. All you do is just push it and then it adds right there. So if you open up Emmer Crate again and scroll down, you should be able to see that here. So a lot of pretty cool customization stuff like that. You can also come here and you can change the light in like I was talking about. You can do different things like breathing. You see the RGB light do some pretty cool stuff, strobing. So again, you have customizations with these lights and I think that's awesome. And if you go to content, here's where you can actually choose the gaming launcher that you want installed and, you know, install it here as well. So you got Epic Games, Ubisoft Connect, uh, Xbox, Update Center as well. I find this really important. So come here and make sure that all your latest stuff is uh, up to date when it comes to Amory Crate. So pretty cool stuff. If you record videos, you can come here. Here's where your screenshots and videos recorded would be. So let's showcase some games here. We'll start with God of War here. Let's just open this up. Look at my FPS here. 
So again, this is equivalent to medium settings and something to take note, people are like, oh, this is only running at 39, 40 FPS. This is 1080p. It's not like the Steam Deck display to where 720 or 800p. This is actually pushing this game at 1080p. And as you can see here, it looks gorgeous in 1080 display and it's doing a good job holding uh, 39 FPS here. So again, this game looks absolutely gorgeous and stunning running on this device and is doing a good job holding over 30 FPS with medium graphical settings. So again, just want to highlight this showcase what it actually looks like running on this device. So next, let's try a game like Destiny 2 and showcase what that looks like running on this device. So this is Destiny 2. As you can see, I'm running this game at 1080p. Let's check out the frame rate here. Again, it's getting high 30s here, sometimes hitting 40 and this is medium sense as well and so again it's pretty impressive like you're seeing here it looks pretty good and runs really smooth again if you want better performance for this you can always take it down to 720p and it should easily hit 40 fps for sure but again this runs pretty well for 1080p and it looks really good i'm really enjoying playing games medium settings at 1080p here and that's kind of why I got this device. Again, I own a Steam Deck and you know I can easily get 720p to run on this device. But again, with a 1080p screen like this, I think it just doesn't do it justice. So I'm comfortable running this one at close to 40 FPS at 1080p. But yeah, I'm really enjoying my time with Destiny 2 on here like you guys have seen. And something to take into consideration with Steam Deck, you know, you can't even play Destiny 2. <laughs> Because again, the anti sheet unless you run Windows on there. So to just see the simplicity of just being able to get this and play it without having to like tinker with things is such, such an amazing thing. But yeah, this runs pretty well. Just want to highlight some Destiny 2 gameplay for you guys and show this off. All right, so my final impression with this device, I'm really enjoying this device. I'm going to give it some time. I just got it, so I'm still trying to get used to it, but just thought I'll make a quick video for you guys. So I own a Steam Deck and I have this, and I do have to say I'm having a great time with this device because, again, the simplicity of just being able to play any game on here. I know it's a huge marketing campaign that they push being able to play any game, but again, like you've seen here, I have Destiny playing. If I want to play my Xbox Game Pass PC games, I can do that with ease i don't have to tinker so that makes gaming on this device easy and when it comes to performance like you've seen here this is destiny 2 running at 1080p getting close to 40 fps that's really impressive and again if i change this to 720p i can easily hit 60 fps on this device so this device is a powerhouse i'm really enjoying my time with it battery life is an issue but it was an issue for me in the steam deck i just carry a battery pack with me i know there's been videos of people having issues with this device i haven't really had any issues with this device i actually had a friend who got this and he actually had to take his back to best buy because the analog stick wasn't working my only complaint with this is that windows can be a little buggy at times for instance early when i booted this up to try and make this video i was kind of stuck at the home screen and and nothing was working so i give it some time eventually load it up but after that it started working so little things like that can make this kind of annoying i have to say you've probably heard reviewers talking about the speakers of this device guys this 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 magic here let me turn this up so you guys can hear it all right so i don't know if you guys can hear this but listen to the sound of the speakers the bass is rich the sound is rich and it is such an awesome, awesome feature that is seriously impressive. So again, I really enjoyed the speakers on here. But would I recommend this device? Absolutely. Some people might ask, if I own the Steam Deck, should I get this? Well, it depends what kind of gamer you are. If you're comfortable with your Steam Deck, if you like the Linux operating system, and if you hard and catch, I would say probably just stick to the Steam Deck. But if you have extra money to buy, if you're looking at the next best thing when it comes to like performance, if you think the Steam Deck is struggling to handle newer, bigger games, then you might want to look at this. But for me personally, I'm going to still keep my Steam Deck and still use this device. And I would say if you can do that, do both. Because again, SteamOS is beautiful and I'll be making a comparison video with this and the Steam Deck. So stay tuned for that if you guys had questions about that. But would highly recommend this device. I'm having such a great time with it. Let me know what your thoughts in the comments below. Appreciate you guys. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Till next time. Peace out.